Welcome back. We're here for chapter seven. If you remember, we left Junie B off in Miss Weller's office. She did the E game and she found out she needed glasses. And from what we heard, she did not like the sound of that. So we're going to start with chapter seven, good guessing. The nurse called mother at work. She tattletailed about the glasses. Then mother tattletailed to daddy, and those two would not let the matter drop. They talked about glasses all during dinner that entire night. I couldn't even digest my food that good because they kept talking about those stupid, dumb glasses. Sooner or later, almost everyone needs to wear glasses, Junie B, said daddy. Really, they do. I put my chin in my hand real glum. Really, they don't, I grumped. Daddy's telling the truth, Junie B, said mother. And besides, you're going to look absolutely adorable in glasses. No, I am absolutely not, I grumped again. Sure you are, said daddy. And just think how great it'll be to see the words on the board. I covered my ears. Not great, not great, not great, I said. Mother took my hands away. Listen to me, honey, please, she said. Glasses are like magic windows for the eyes. When you put them on, poof, the whole world comes crystal clear. I did a huffy breath. <sighs> poof yourself, I grumped. After that, Mother picked me up and she carried me to my room because that was one grump too many. The next morning, Daddy took me to the eye doctor. The eye doctor did lots more eye tests with me. They were sort of fun, only I didn't tell Daddy. Also, the doctor put drops in my eyes. Drops make your eyeballs get biggish and darkish. Eyeballs look very attractive that way. After the eye doctor, I went home till my drops wore off. Then daddy drove me to school. And guess what? All of the children stared at me when I came into the room. Cause I was the late kid, that's why. I walked to my desk kinda shy. Herb's face smiled when he saw me. Judy B. Jones, where were you? He said, I saved your seat on the bus, but you never came. We were afraid you might be sick, said Jose. Yeah, said Lenny. You're not, are you? I certainly hope she's not sick, said May. You shouldn't come to school sick, Junie Jones. Coming to school sick is how germs are started. I sucked in my cheeks at that girl. I'm not sick, May. I'm just late, that's all. May made a grouchy face. Well, being late isn't good either, she said. Being late gets you a black mark on your permanent record. I covered my ears at her. Blah, 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 May, I said. Herb and Lenny and Jose laughed out loud. Those guys are starting to enjoy me, I think. Pretty soon, I took out my workbook and I tried to do my math. Only, too bad for me, because I kept on worrying about my new glasses. What if I look dumb and silly in those things? I thought, what if room one laughs their heads off at me? What if I look like a goonie bird and no one wants to be my friend? The worrying would not go away in my head. Maybe I needed to talk to someone about this possibly. Finally, I reached out and I tapped on Herb. Psst, Herbert, I whispered real soft. I have something I need to tell you, only I'm really afraid to say it. Cause what if you laugh at me? Only you probably won't, but I still don't think I should take the chance. And so do not ask me about this, and I mean it. After that, I waited and I waited, but Herb did not ask me. Okay, fine, I'll give you a hint, I said. But first, you're going to have to turn around and sneak a peek at me. Herb turned around and sneaked a peek. I quick made round circles with my fingers and held them in front of my eyes. 
Can you do that? Make circles in front of your eyes. Okay, what am I doing here, Herb? I whispered again. Huh? What does this look like to you? I'm making round circles in front of my eyes, see? What do you think they are? May leaned over my desk. Shh, shh, she said. Stop bothering Herb, Junie Jones. If you don't shush right now, I'm going to tell the teacher. Suddenly, I jumped right out of my chair because I had had enough of that girl, that's why. No, you shush, you shushy head May, I said. I'm not even bothering Herbert. I am giving him a hint about my new glasses, and that is none of your beeswax, sister. Now, I shouted that because she wrote it in all capital letters. So that means it, they were saying it loud. May's face looked shocked at me. Her mouth came all the way open. Can you make your mouth go all the way open? You're getting glasses? She said real loud. You're getting glasses? Said Herbert. Herb. You're getting glasses? Said all of room one. The children stared and stared. My head felt hottish and sweatyish. I sat back down in my chair. Then I looked at Herb kind of sickish and I whispered the word, words, good guess. Here she is, probably after she threw a little tantrum and she said it super loud and yelled at May and it looks like everyone's like, what? Why is she yelling in class? I don't know. If you were Junie B right now, would you be a little nervous that everyone might think you were a Goonie bird if you wore glasses? I'm thinking she might think that. We'll have to see when we read chapter eight. See you later.